are food, teeth and digestion. Let us start to learn about our teeth and the digestive system. We all know a little about our food that we eat. Now, let's learn some more about it in detail. Today, we are going to learn about our teeth and digestion. Do you know why do we have teeth? We have teeth to chew the food we eat. Yes, but it also helps us to speak clearly. Many animals have special mouth parts that help them in eating. Teeth area are a special feature in mammals. For example, human, dogs, monkeys, etc. Does the newborn child have teeth? No, ma'am. Yes, they are born without teeth. But by the age of 2 to 3 years, they have about 20 teeth. These are called milk teeth. But as the child grows, these teeth fall and new, bigger and stronger teeth grow in their place. That is why the milk teeth are called temporary teeth and the second set of teeth are called permanent set which we use through our whole life. Kinds of teeth All our teeth are not of the same kind. They are of four kinds according to the type of work they do, like biting, tearing and chewing the food. The four kinds are incisors, canons, premolars and molars. Incisors are the cutting teeth. The front four teeth in the upper and lower jaw in our mouth are the incisors. They are flat and have sharp edge to cut or bite the food. Canons are the tearing teeth. One cannon is present on both sides of the incisors on both the jaws. There are total four cannons. They are sharp pointed. In flesh-eating animals, they are bigger, stronger and sharp, which helps to tear the flesh. Premolars comes next to cannons. They are broad and flat. There are total eight premolars. They help to crack and grind the food into fine pieces. Molars are bigger, flatter and broader teeth. There are 12 molars. They also help to crush and grind the food well. Plant-eating animals have well-developed premolars and molars. Parts of a tooth Let's see the basic structure of a tooth. It is common for all types of teeth. The different parts of a tooth are crown, root, enamel, dentine, pulp and blood vessels. The tooth is white in color because of the enamel. The tooth is hard because of the dentine. Inside the dentine, there is pulp which is very soft and full of nerves and blood vessels. Care of teeth Do you all brush your teeth every day? Yes, ma'am. Why do you do so? To keep them clean. Otherwise, it will decay. Yes. Why do teeth decay? Please explain us, ma'am. When we eat food, tiny particles of food get stuck on the teeth and also in the space between the teeth. If we don't brush, the germs breed there and form plaque around the roots of the teeth and also decays the tooth. We also have bad breath. Ways to protect your teeth Rinse your mouth every time after eating something. Brush your teeth at least twice a day, once in the morning and before going to bed. Use floss to clean between the teeth. Use a tongue cleaner to clean the tongue. Brush using up and down motion. Massage the gums with your finger to make them strong.
Avoid colas, too many sweets and snacks. Eat hard fruits like apple. Visit the dentist regularly for checkups. Do not use others' toothbrush. Calcium is very important to keep the teeth strong. Paneer, cheese and other milk products are rich in calcium. Microbes Microbes are the small germs or bacteria that grow in the mouth. They are very, very small and can be seen only under the microscope, so they are called microbes. They feed on the food particles stuck on the teeth and decay it. The four main types of microbes are virus, bacteria, fungus and protozoa. The digestive system. The food inside the body is broken down into smaller and simpler form which is absorbed by the body. This process is called digestion. There are several organs in the body that helps in digestion. They are collectively called the digestive system. The digestive system includes the mouth, foot pipe or the esophagus, stomach, liver, pancreas, small intestines, large intestines and the anus. From the mouth, food passes through the foot pipe to the stomach where it is acted upon by the digestive juices secreted from liver and pancreas. The crushed food item mixed with water passes through the small intestine where the useful food parts are absorbed into the bloodstream. Then, the food passes through the large intestine where water is reabsorbed and the waste is passed out of the body through the anus in the form of feces.